finally, a candidate who will fight for all of Clay County, not just parts of it. In case you haven't heard, Mitch DeBoard is running for Clay County Commissioner. Mitch lives with Peggy and his two teenagers in beautiful indoor West Virginia, located in the southern end of the county. Working as a volunteer on many community projects, he believes that having a strong local economy benefits everyone in the community. Mitch has been working towards this through his leadership and organization of the Buffalo Creek Watershed Improvement Association, the Big Knob Hunting Club, being involved in efforts to turn unused railroad access into nature trails, and to get the DNR to resume state trout stocking to the area. At the Watershed Group, he has been instrumental in efforts to clean up the water and raise the pH to a more livable level so that it can be turned into a recreational fishery and tourist draw. Working with state and local agencies and others in the community, he has achieved this. In just two years, the Buffalo Creek and tributaries that feed into it are considerably cleaner and have been stocked regularly with trout. Between fishing and hunting, these are currently two of the biggest draws of people to Clay County. He also has been working with the school system to educate the young people in the area as to the importance of protecting our natural resources with emphasis on clean water. Trout in the classroom is an example of this. As part of teacher Jared Fitzwater's Clay County Middle School classes, students learn about biodiversity and the importance of a healthy ecosystem. Mitch feels that small towns are perfect incubators for small businesses and that every effort should be made to foster the entrepreneurial spirit that has made this country great. He views many of the issues facing Clay County as opportunities to improve. One of them is the tax structure. As it is, the taxes keep getting cut on the ones that need it least while raising them on the middle class, who are currently bearing the majority of the tax burden. He also feels that Clay County should benefit directly every time natural resources leave here. Taxes collected on resources taken here, for example, could be used for low interest loans and grants to help small businesses and startups. After all, it should be the people that get the break, not the big companies and out-of-state landowners. His philosophy is, if the way you're doing things isn't working, you need to try something new. Improving the infrastructure is a key point of Mitch's campaign. Some of the problems facing Clay County include, but are not limited to, getting stall water projects back online, improving sidewalks and streetscapes, the need for ambulance and fire companies that don't have to struggle to make ends meet, clean water in the Elk River and our creeks, promoting tourism, small businesses, and activities that bring the people in the community together and let them know they matter. These are all vital to Clay County and should have priority. If elected, Mitch DeBoard will work tirelessly towards this goal. Hi, my name is Mitch DeBoard. I'm asking for your vote in the upcoming May 8th primary. I'm not a politician, I'm a working man. I feel I have a lot to offer as a county commissioner. As a candidate, I'll make you one promise. I will represent all of the county and not just part of it. As commissioner, there'll be a lot of things to work on. Waterline extensions, better cell coverage, and better DSL. Growing tourism by getting the DNR to stock trout in local streams. Buffalo Creek Watershed. BC and G Campground, and Scenic Byways Program for Elk River. Our ambulance and fire departments throughout the county need to be represented and supported fairly. When things aren't working the way you're doing them, you need to try something new. I want to be something new. Thank you.